On this ninth day of awe, we focus on the ninth commandment, which is basically talking about lying, falsehoods. It has to do with Lashon Hara, what the Hebrew calls the evil tongue. Whether it be slander, or criticism, or gossip, or just flat out lies. Have we gossiped and basically told a story to other people about someone else that really shouldn't be told, uh, airing dirty laundry uh, that shouldn't be aired? And in the process of doing that, we not only tell this story in order to make somebody else look bad, but we embellish the truth. We blow up the, the, uh, the story, the, the juicy tidbit of gossip to make it more spectacular and bigger than it really is. And in that way, we have lied. We have told a falsehood against someone else. When we blow things out of proportion, when we take a constructive criticism and use it as a sledgehammer to beat someone down, we've lied. When we've told a falsehood about someone else in order to make ourselves look good, or we've lied in order to protect ourselves from sort of some sort of retribution or punishment, or when we have lied to make somebody else look bad and make us look better, that is bearing false witness against your neighbor. And who's your neighbor? It's anybody else but you. It doesn't have to be somebody who literally lives next to you. It doesn't have to be somebody who's a friend, somebody that's of the same religion, ethnicity, or what have you. It, it, it doesn't matter. Your neighbor is anybody but yourself. Not only can we lie about other people, we can lie to ourselves. Jeremiah says that the heart is the most deceitful thing about us. Who could even know it? Who could fathom its depths? And a lot of times we lie to ourselves to make ourselves feel good. One of the most uh, iconic scenes uh, in, in the movie industry is Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. When Bill and Ted actually go back in time and run into each other, and they run into themselves, and they're saying, hey, you're about to meet this really cool guy. You know, listen to this dude, Rufus. He knows what he's talking about. You know, and then the uh, Bill and Ted, who knows nothing about it, they're just kind of conversing with each other. It's like, well, well, should we listen to ourselves? You know, what if we're lying? And then the other guy goes, well, why would we lie to ourselves? Seems pretty logical. Seems pretty sound, right? But we do lie to ourselves. We lie to ourselves when we make an excuse to sin, to justify a sin, or justify something that we want to do that's not good for us. That's lying to ourselves. Oh, I'm not really prideful. You know, oh, you know, <coughs> I know I'm not really sick, but I deserve this day off. I've got it coming to me. They've been working me too hard, so I'm going to call in sick, even though I'm not. We justify sins. We justify to comfort our flesh. So we lie to ourselves to make ourselves feel good and, and make ourselves not feel bad or convicted about the wrong that we do. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. This is not just talking about a court scene and lying uh, um, in testimony about your neighbor so he can get convicted and he can look bad. It goes way deeper than that. There's so many uh, faces to lies, so many masks that lies wear that we must be aware of and we must take into consideration on this day of awe as we ask ourselves, have I lied to anybody? Have I made anybody look bad by embellishing the truth or, or, or betraying a confidence? Have I lied even to myself by justifying my own sins? Have I lied to God in promising him that I would change or that I would do something and make a vow and a covenant to him and I've never fulfilled that? Have I lied? So these are the things we need to ask ourselves on this day and go to those people who we've hurt through our lies or our embellishment. And even go to God whom we've hurt because we've lied to him and ourselves whom we've lied to at times. We've all done it and we need to repent so as to make things right on this day of all in preparation for Yom Kippur. Guys, thanks for listening. Go out there and have a wonderful day. God bless.